Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to CPA Canada Online Academy. Now, when I'm saying this, this is not a video exactly related to CPA, not, not our usual technical stuff. Um, I'm going to uh, give a book review of, uh, of a book that I re read. Um, consciously or unconsciously, whenever you are reading something, it it you you take away something from it. So I I am an avid reader and I keep on reading those autobiographies or different types of books just to understand how the how the achievers think. And uh, sometimes I feel that it impacts you as a person. It develops your soft skills, and um, it definitely has grow or you you grow as a person uh, when when you are mesmerized by something so um, today's video is about uh, andre agassi i read a book uh, his his autobiography actually it's it's titled as open so when like whenever we see the great accomplishers like we always think about their success and their glory fa fame tennis players, even about how much they earn, um, like millions of dollars uh, for their, their campaigns and advertising. But what doesn't occur to us is their lifetime commitment and the dedication, hard work, sacrifice, and uh, the battle with them themselves that they go through each and every time they are on a court fighting a, a difficult match. So uh, this is a very heart-touching story of Andre Agassi and his ups and downs and bad patches. Like I'm not a sports fan, but as a as a as a successful person, as a what you can say, as an achiever, I I found his story very interesting. He has uh, he has made it very interesting. And uh, he he actually started training at the age of seven or like even maybe before that. And, you know, like at, at one stage, he says, as a little boy, I'm thinking, just quit, Andre. He's just like talking to himself, just quit, Andre, just give up. I don't want to do this. Put that racket down and walk off the court. But I can't. Something in my gut, something deep, some deep unseen muscle just won't let me quit. I hate tennis. I hate it with all my heart. And I still keep playing. 2,000 ball, 500 balls per day, 17 1500 per week just imagine what kind of effort that is just to like with the with the ball uh, throwing machine he's just practicing his father was very strict and uh, throughout his life he hated him for like being so much dominating and controlling but like at the end he forgave his father and understands the reason his obsession towards tennis um, like one more incident, he says that, oh, my shoulders ache. Um, I can't hit another ball. Like it's just physically not possible. And I hit another three. I can't go on another minute and I go another 10. And this is the perseverance. This is the, this is the grit that is required to attain something. Even like while studying CPA exams or like doing the cases and like innumerable like I just I can't write I was like I can't write one more case and then I, I used to remember Andre okay oh if he can hit 2500 balls uh, per day just to practice at the age 7 8 10 then I can do one more case so like okay you can do this so just, it just it was very inspiring um, and I think the difference between an uh, ordinary person and extraordinary person, like people, it's it's that it's it's I think that that they don't give up. They like we seek excuses and reasons rather than going through that pain and patience. And um, amazing, like amazing determination at an early age. And like he, the, the goal was set very early on his mind that he wants to become the number one pro tennis player. Uh, that, that was his, his goal. Now, like if, as they say, pe if people aren't laughing at your dreams, then you aren't dreaming big. So like he tells one memory from like his, like his mother, quoted a memory that when he was two years old and he was in lying in his crib, his father would, you know, like you have that's hanging um, toys that are on uh, 
what you can say the the fish and things like toys that are hang on the on the crib so he he used to hang a tennis ball and t- tape a tennis racket and i'm like i was like i i just can't believe it is is it cruel or am i being like too judgmental here like even i, I have heard uh, stories about sefi graf that she started her training like training in this and just learning to play when she was still wearing diapers and like very at very young age they they started this and um uh like this story the book advances to his from his like he was sent to a training center in an academy far away from home and he calls it a prison and uh, he just trying to rebel against the world he's like hating his father hating the tennis he just like he's just trying to rebel against everything and like his outside image is like a like a punk kid a, a total jerk but when when you read through the thoughts and the narrations that he has given you you could feel that he's just a like a a, a very normal regular insecure lonely teenager who is yearning to be loved and um um it was it was very interesting like even even it like from the perspective of social perspective like what people really want who are going through these crazy stages at those early ages then uh, another incident he like he at, at the age of 16 he played as a pro so 16 is still a teen age and um, he he started losing his uh, hair pretty early and there is a hair piece incident he used to use kind of a wig and in a match um, he was playing and the hair hair piece was so loose that uh, his his like friends had fixed it with some pins and things like that but um, in the match he becomes very conscious about that and he couldn't think about anything else and he 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 lost his focus like he couldn't concentrate on the match and uh, he lost the match and then later he shaved we know he shaved his head like that's the that's the andre agassi we know and um, at that point he's like when he shaved his head off and he he's saying i felt free you know like there is sometimes we don't realize how much burden um, we are carrying in a society just just our stupid things just our how do i look what will people th- what will people think that's the most most uh, important of all rather than what you feel inside like are you are you comfortable wearing something or not but like it's it's more a societal pressure and superficial beliefs and um, so it is very important to identify those burdens and just let it go and um, it's like he uh, in the book he uh, narrates various matches as if like suppose us open the the match with uh, he he's he's narrating what what he's thinking and uh, it is very interesting to read uh, from the psychological uh, point of view you know like we are we always are thinking sitting in front of the tv set and um, we are we think it's just that the game skills that matter but uh, listening to the stories we st- like start to understand the pressures these players face and they are young you know like whether the calgary flames ice hockey players or these tennis players or they, these are very uh, young uh, players who are not yet what you can say emotionally uh, matured to handle that kind of pressure because it's 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 a mental battle there is a lot of strategic decision um involved then you have to read the opponent's mind and it's it's that anxiety of winning or losing the battle at um, at, at at i don't remember the match but at that match description he says the pressure the pressure of the match it built up so much that i was just unable to see the ball my my mind was traveling to the next round finals oh my god if i lose uh, this set then i won't be able to reach and then it, it like he said i i, I calm myself i narrowed it down i just want one point that's how i managed just thinking about one point at a time the mind is the demon either it either you rule it or then it rules you it, it works only these two ways and um, training that uh, crazy mind uh, like not to wander in such stressful situation it's like training the wind not to blow 
so one who masters that mind is the winner it is such a physical stress to play at that level but like i i have a friend who is a runner and she runs uh, like a like three day race a mountain race like very very stressful races and like i'm like how do you do that I'm, i i can't even run a 5k and how do you manage to run like 100k and like three days in a row and how how do you manage that and the answer she gave me was very interesting she said that after a certain point it's not physical it's mental you know the body will keep supporting you until you feel like running the the minute um you your mind or your your mind gives up you you can't even take one step further you know and it's it's so interesting to um learn this this type of uh, you know stress handling there is a lot of talk going on on the like the stress and uh, like how do you deal with yourself like so the it's it's not definitely it's not easy especially for these players uh playing in different countries under like different weather conditions different types of courts and it's it's such a physical uh toll on their body as such so having having the uh, great life partner was also important like it the, the the personal happiness reflects in your life as well you know that emotional uh, quotient of happiness or the stress management uh or or your ethics everything boils down to your own core self whether you are happy as a person or not if you are happy and you are enthusiastic you are you are more willing and ready to face the challenges in your work side as well similarly for andre like his first marriage with brookshills was not successful and those are the years he is not successful in his career as well it reflects man and, and stephy graf came into his life his his uh, his game improved uh, professionally as well and like he won eight grand slams like seven up seven i think seven runner up grand slam and uh, not to forget a gold medal in olympics 1996 and like amazing you know like i like this book like it it's 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 very encouraging and definitely gives us uh, gives us a lot of points to think upon to raise like it gave me uh, a belief to raise my standards to fight higher not to give up like keep 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 trying or to believe in future and just keep doing it so very interesting book i would suggest that uh, you all should read it and let me know if you if you like the book as well and uh, thank you until next time bye